day of Professor Hawking. Turning your house into a home with Good Morning Britain National Weather, sponsored by CheckAtrade.com. CheckAtrade, CheckAtrade.com. Well, actually, astronomically, today marks the start of spring. It's the spring equinox. We leave behind winter, and it's the day the sun is directly over the equator, and equinox is Latin for equal when the world has equal day and equal night. And from here on in, the days get longer than the nights, and it should be feeling warmer, but actually this week it is set to feel a lot colder. At the moment, it's an overcast grey theme outside, not feeling much like spring. Rain will be heavy at times, blustery showers moving through, and by the end of the week, while sunshine returns, temperatures will drop and we see the return of those nighttime frosts. But this morning, hardly a frost around. It's exceptionally mild, 10, 11 degrees are starting temperatures with all this cloud and rain. So a wet start for much of Scotland, Northern England and Wales. Through the Midlands, the rain quickly moves within the next hour or so. And then for the southeast of England, that's where the rain heads come this afternoon. Further north, after the miserable start, sunshine breaks through for Northern England and Wales. But heavy showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Notice here the white speckles, cold enough for snow and windy through the Northern Isles of Scotland. Severe gales moderating as we head through the day. So it doesn't look or feel like spring. Now, actually, overnight, the rain clears away. Showers continue in the north, but with clear skies and the winds easing off, temperatures will drop. A cold, frosty start tomorrow morning, feeling more like winter, but the outlook more like spring. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather.